My name is Bobby Dunham. I'm the Learning Experience Designer and Organizational Learning at Nova Scotia Community College. And I put together a little activity about some of the activities we were doing this summer with students in the Adult Education Foundations program in a course called Integrating Technology in Teaching and Learning. So we did a number of videos, or I did a number of videos with the students, um, demonstrating different technologies. So what I'm going to do now is explain a bit of what, what happened here. And I'm just going to slide out of the way so you can see in a much better way what I'm talking about. So uh, basically the course was called Tele 1020, which is an integrating technology and teaching and learning course. It was a 30 hour credit course. It was self-paced and online, wouldn't normally be, but because of COVID and because of what was happening this summer, we didn't want to put uh, faculty in a situation where they had to be anywhere or follow any, any kind of prescribed plan. So uh, they had a lot going on. So uh, it was put over like a six, seven week period uh, the students um, were doing other courses as well as this course. This wasn't the only one. The faculty in this class, there was about 50 students and they come from all parts of the province from one end to the other. There's 13 different campuses. They came from different schools. They came from different industry. They came with different skill levels. Some were comfortable with technology and some not. So it was a very diverse group of students with one common goal, which was to really um, you know, create an engaging, uh, motivational online learning experience because what they did learn from the spring was that the students were having um, challenges staying engaged in a kind of like a, a substitution online lecture format, like PowerPoint presentations, which is what everyone scrambled to initially. So they were learning a lot. They really uh, became quite creative. They learned different models to use to integrate technology into their lesson planning, uh, very clearly sticking to uh, outcome-based education, um, using UDL principles, focusing um, on achieving the outcomes and objectives of the course, and also um, making sure it was accessible, uh, fun, and enjoyable for everyone involved. So uh, to help facilitate this uh, learning, I created what I called Spark Sessions, and they were 30-minute sessions where students could um, see an app, see the back end of an app, you know, understand how it works very quickly and maybe try it out in a quick demo. And so I would do one app demonstration per week every Monday over the summer over a five week period. So when this um, Nearpod activity I prepared, I put together the videos that were recorded from those sessions. Now they're not beautiful videos because they were just live sessions, but it has some information about the reasoning behind the app and also um, how to use it and, and some feedback from the f uh, faculty in the class as well. So the apps were selected um, based on one thing in particular, uh, well, criteria. Well, first of all, the first demonstration, the first Spark session I did was on Slido. And in Slido, I asked the faculty what things they wanted to know about, what were they interested in? And some of the responses were things like, you know, whiteboards and how to get the students to communicate with me and how do I know when they're learning or how do I know that they're paying attention. And so the apps um, I selected had alter alternative criteria as well or additional criteria as well. And that was they had to be free to use for educators. Um, they had to be safe for students and that the students weren't having to log in or share their information, their personal information had to be multimodal and that the students could use it to demonstrate their learning in different ways. They could use text, audio, video, um, different things, and then feel comfortable in doing that. And it had to be multi-purpose. The apps had to be something that could be used in different ways. They could be used um, as an assessment tool, a formative assessment, an evaluative. They could be used for um, brainstorming, cross-pollination of ideas among students communication between the instructor and the students, some way for students to integrate or, or um, engage with content as well as contribute content. So they had to be multi-purpose in that way. On top of this, they had to be easy to use and implement and understand. And of course they had to be fun. So uh, basically what happened is that because based on what the faculty were saying and then what uh, apps that I knew about, I selected a uh, few such as Jamboard, Slido, Loom, Flipgrid, Padlet, and OBS, among a couple other ones. And so um, what I did in this case is because one of the apps I chose was Nearpod. So I'm just going to present to you this information using a Nearpod so you can get to practice and play with Nearpod yourself because the best way to learn an app is to use it. So I'm going to uh, add a link to the bottom of this video in the notes section.
with a link to a student self-paced Nearpod. And in that Nearpod, I put all the information, the videos, and some activities for you to engage with the content yourself. And for further information, what I'm using right now is um, a tool or an application, a new one, and it's called mm -hmm, and it's still in beta format. And I'm just playing with it right now because I'm practicing. So you're giving me an opportunity to play with it uh, and, mm -hmm, and see how I can use it in the future. So uh, thanks for giving me the opportunity to play with a new app. And without further ado, I'm just going to pop up here um, the information. So the, the link for Nearpod is down below. And when you open the Nearpod, all you have to do is enter your name or a fake name or whatever you'd like and then click through the slides. There's a little arrow on either side. You can go back and forth and move through the slides. Um, when you make a submission, if you make a comment, please remember to hit submit so the feedback gets sent to me and I can see this has a, a Nearpod has a beautiful reporting tool as well. So it gives you a chance to play. I get to play. I get to learn. This is all for a lot of fun. And yeah, so just to, you know, say thanks very much. I'm going to um, fade into the background now because I just, it's a cool thing I can do right now. So I'm just going to fade away and then have fun with the Nearpod and bye. It was nice talking to you. Bye.